Hello all, this is the mole conversion PowerPoint, specifically two-step mole conversions. So we're going to talk about how do you know when you have a two-step mole conversion, okay? So how do you know if you have a one-step or two-step mole problem? Well, it's all going to be all about what you start with and what you end with. So moles is our central unit. So if you start with moles or you're asked to find moles, you're ending in moles, it's got to be a one-step problem, okay? Because there's only one place you can go in any direction from moles. Now if you're not given moles to start with and you're not asked to find moles, it's going to have to be a two-step problem. So if you're going like mass, the ASTA gives you mass and asks you for particles, you're going to be going from mass to moles to particles. So you'd use molar mass to get from mass to moles and then from moles to particles you'd use the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Okay, so if you start with moles or end with moles, it's a one step. If you don't start or end with moles, it's going to have to be a two step. Alright, so let's look at a problem. So this problem says how many atoms of lithium are in 18.2 grams of lithium? Okay, so you know that you're starting with 18.2 grams. Okay, now... Um, you are starting with grams and you're asked to find atoms. Now what are atoms the same as? Particles, right? They're the same as particles. So we know this is going to have to be a two-step problem right off the bat because it doesn't have anything to do with moles. Okay, so if you have grams on top, grams has got to go on the bottom and we know from our conversion factors that the molar mass is what we need. So we need the molar mass of lithium. So we got 6.941 over one mole. Now that get rid, gets rid of our grams, but we still have moles. We don't want moles, right? We want atoms, which are particles. So you got to keep going. So if you got one mole on top, one mole's got to go on the bottom. Okay? And you're looking for particles or atoms, so you'd have to put 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd on top. Okay, so your moles canceled out, and now all you got to do is plug it in. So multiply everything on top. Okay, so you got 18.2 times 1 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So let me plug that in my little handy-dandy calculator over here. Don't forget that 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd should go in parentheses. Makes your life so much easier if you just put it in parentheses. Then we're going to divide by 6.941. All right, so I got 1.579 times 10 to the 24th atoms. Now remember, you should sig fig, right? So you have three sig figs up here. So you got to have three sig figs down here. So this uh, 9 is going to make the 7 round up. So the real answer is going to be 1.58 times 10 to the 24th atoms. All right. All right, let's look at one more. All right, in this problem we're asked how many liters of lithium are in 2.31 times 10 to the 20th molecules. Now immediately you should look at the problem. It doesn't have anything to do with moles. Okay, so you know it's going to have to be a two-step problem. Alright, so to start with, all we have is the 2.31 times 10 to the 20th, and molecules are the same as particles, right? So I'll just write parts right there. Okay, now, if you have particles on top, particles just go on the bottom, and from our conversion factors, we know that it's got to be 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd and one mole on top. Now we weren't looking for moles, we were looking for liters, so we got to keep going. Okay, so if one mole on, is on top, one mole has to go on the bottom. You want to know how many liters. Our conversion factor for liters is 22.414. And the moles cancel. Okay, so you got 2.31 
times 10 to the 20th multiplied by 22.414. And then we're going to divide that by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Now, if you get these crazy answers that are like 10 to the 40th something, that means you've got a calculator error. That means that you are not <clears throat> putting parentheses around these scientific notation numbers. All right, so we got three sig figs, right? So let's make sure our answer has three sig figs. So there's two sig figs, three sig figs, and the unit's liters. Okay, so don't forget, if you start or end with moles, it's a one-step. If you don't, it's got to be a two-step.